Hi there. Today on VidCast, we're going to take a look at who's sitting behind my car. And I mean it. To do this effect, first we had our subject react to the pressure of the gun blast to give our gunshots a more realistic look. This helped us sell the effect. We captured screenshots of our subject so that we could align the flares up properly. Then we used Adobe Photoshop to make our gun flares by using the brush tool. We added a few colors and then used the motion blur effect to give the perception of blurred movement. We added three individual flares to represent the front, side, and over the shoulder point of views of our gun blast scenes. Back in Adobe Premiere, we then overlaid our flares on top of the scenes. The trick here is to only insert the overlaid frames for a short amount of time. This allows all of our foley, which we inserted later, to sell the effect. Well, as you can see, we've already learned a lot about We added some bullet shells that we made in 3D Max to add a touch of realism. We put the final touches on the scenes by adding some ferocious gunshot noise to get the sound of our gun blast, the shells hitting the ground, ricochets, and the impact of the bullets hitting the car and the windshield. Now we have our effect and it looks as violent as it can be. For more information on gun flares, join us online at www.videomaker.com. Next time on VidCast, we will explore what happened to the guy behind my car. Until then, stay away from my car.